Hello everyone, and welcome to my young and restless gossip channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Four months after Garrison Brow, Sister Wives stars Christine and Janelle Brown reunite for needed family time. Christine Brown, star of Sister Wives, and Janelle Brown are back together, and it feels amazing. On Monday, the TLC celebrities shared pictures and videos from their reunion on Instagram, where they were having a fun family day in Wyoming. It was much needed that we could spend the day together. Extremely appreciative of family. Red Heart Hashtag Family Hashtag Family for Life Hashtag Family Forever Red Heart They uploaded a combined Instagram post with Madison Brush, the daughter of Janelle's ex-partner Cody Brown. The women smile for the camera in the pictures, and Janelle is wearing a sweater that says Optimist. The post soundtrack is We Are Family by Sister Sledge. Janelle also uploaded a video of herself at the gorgeous spot, captioning it, hanging out with the family, Christine, Maddie, and the kids, and having a great time, at this stunning reservoir in the mountains of Wyoming. If you are in the United States, I hope you have a fantastic 4th of July weekend. Post posted by Janelle said, Time for family. I'm loving every second of it. She included Mary Brown's child, Leon Brown, and their girlfriend, Audrey Chris, as well as Christine's daughters, Aspen Thompson, Gwendolyn Brown, and Janelle's daughter, Savannah Brown, in the post. She also tagged Christine and her new husband, David Woolley. Four months have passed since the devastating suicide death of Janelle and Cody's son, Garrison Brown, in March, and now the family is spending quality time together. Mary discussed Janelle and Cody's grieving process in a rare podcast interview last month. I believe there are good days and terrible days for every one of them, based on our conversations. On the Misunderstood with Rachel Uckadal podcast, Mary stated of Janelle and Cody, I don't know how there couldn't be. There are still moments when I'll sigh when I see a photo of Garrison. It bothers me that this occurred. I mean, it's pretty depressing. I'm really sorry for Janelle. It's unfortunate that I saw my mother lose two of her own children before she went away. 2021 saw Christine, the first of the former polygamist's four wives to leave him, announce her divorce from Cody. In 2022, Janelle separated from her husband of over three decades, following suit. Early in 2023, Mary broke up with Cody. He currently lives a monogamous life with Robin Brown, his lone surviving wife. Christine Brown, star of Sister Wives, makes jokes about the infamous Nacho incident. Recently, the Sister Wives actors joked on social media about how she once grossed Cody out by eating nachos from a gas station, an experience that Cody wrote about in the family biography, Becoming Sister Wives. Christine relived the moment when her love of nachos turned Cody off in the July 1st Instagram post. While on a road trip, Cody noticed his future bride eating a tray of gas station snacks, which made him start to doubt his feelings for her. At the time, the two were dating. In a video she posted to her fans, she stated, So, I don't know if you've read our book or not, but in it, Cody talk about how I was eating nachos and it really, really grossed him out. She pointed to the convenience store in question and said, This is the gas station where I got the nachos at. Christine was accompanied this time by David Woolley, her new husband, rather than Cody. David doesn't hold it against his spouse for being so enthused about the famous food. Christine posted a video of herself and her partner eating nachos in their car with the description, He likes the way I eat my nachos. We're at the gas station where I had nachos years ago, that famous incident, she remarked. David said, I enjoy nachos in the morning. David's response to Christine's nacho loving is very different from Cody's years earlier when he saw her consume the snack. Early in their relationship, Cody and Christine went on a road trip together, as he remembered in becoming sister wives. Even though she was a touch overweight, he felt she was the cutest girl in the world at the time. But as they paused to get something to eat, Cody's perspective started to shift. He writes, Christine entered the Quickie Mart and purchased what appeared to be the biggest serving of chili cheese nachos that I had ever seen. I felt sick to my stomach looking at those nachos. She was eating so fast, and there was nacho cheese and chili sauce all over the place, so she must have been starving. 
I regret the thoughts I had at the time, but seeing this overweight girl in my car eating chili cheese nachos for breakfast put a stop to our relationship, he continued. Christine was unaware that her snack choice had altered Cody's perception of her. She said in becoming sister wives, of course, I had no idea that I'd grossed Cody out with my nachos. As a child, I was overweight and had an unhealthy obsession with junk food. And my favorite junk food in the world was chili cheese nachos. Cody's lack of attraction to Christine was a problem in their marriage, even though they went on to get married and raise six kids together. After more than 25 years together, the couple declared their separation in November 2021. In October 2023, Christine wed David. Sister spouses, Sainz Robin was an evil stepmother to Cody Earthy College children. At the point when Cinderella needed to go to the ball, her evil stepmother woman Tremaine held her up, and now is the ideal time to discuss how sister spouses Robin Brown treated the children that Cody Earthy colored in parts to Mary, Janelle, and Christine Brown. While Robin's not plainly fiendish like the famous woman Tremaine, who told Cinderella she could go to the ball on the off chance that she finished all her work, she's a miscreant. Instead of hollering and creating an uproar, Robin mumbled apparently delicate words that influenced Cody to settle on terrible choices. She additionally advertised exhortation that nobody requested or needed. Obviously, as the statement above shows, Cinderella had a ton to do before she could proceed to meet ideal man on what was destined to be an otherworldly evening. While Robin needed woman Tremaine's undeniable perversion, she assumed a part in a considerable lot of Cody's quarrels with his children. While mimicking a sweet and giggling Disney princess, Robin sheathed her hooks, however they were still there. Post Brown died on Walk 5, 2024, and nothing can bring him back. He is missed, and his passing isn't Robin's shortcoming. Notwithstanding, the strains in the earthy colored family hurt him, and at times, Robin exacerbated the situation. Rather than venturing back and allowing Cody to deal with his associations with his kids, she would go about as the real influencer. Notwithstanding, she wasn't the mother of those youngsters. Robin didn't believe that the more seasoned children should approach the extravagant house she divides with Cody since she realized there was strain among those children and Cody. She felt that they'd all demolish the occasion by battling. This is exceptionally off track, what truly ruins connections is personal distance. At the point when Cody could never have it out with the late post, his candid child Paydon Brown, Gabriel Brown and other earthy colored kids, the breaks became more extensive. They turned out to be so difficult to fix. In the clip above, from the animated Disney classic Cinderella, 1950, Lady Tremaine does everything in her power to stop Cinderella from going to the ball. She ends up locking the innocent beauty in a tower. While Robin never locked up Cody's kids and pocketed the key, she has interfered in their lives in ways that she shouldn't have. For example, on screen, Janelle and Cody's daughter Maddie Brush called her out for criticizing the church she chose. Was that Robin's place? Absolutely not.